hello Ervil. What can I do for you? I have resumed the treasure hunt game, Midas. Oh, I see. Well, I suppose I guess you still wait to pass the time until we are the powerful. It's going to take a, quite a bit of time to get back. Well, keep her steady, Captain. We must give our guests a fair chance to find the angel. We can't wait! So this is a ne nerve center of the ship, from where the captain steers her through the water. And the third angel figurine is concealed somewhere inside this room. I wish you luck in finding it. Hmm. I don't know where it's going to be this time. There's bound to be some very likely places. Let's find them. Yeah, if you go by convention, probably something like this. This, I don't think the stereo was. You could select the stereo before, could you? This is the controls, right? Yeah, I, yeah, I already told that. Let's go here. Oh, no. Oh, it's in here? There's a machinery and instruments all over the place, but just heard because uh, here you see a special chalk a, chalk a block. Sniff, sniff, I smell a rat. Your nose really doesn't work, does it, show? You're looking for an angel, not a rat. But I think this could be the place. These are more speaking tubes, aren't they? They should be empty, but all the sound to and they should be empty to allow the sound of your voice to travel along them. One o five double trouble. Okay. Control the knight and the princess at the same time so they both reach the exit. Use the directional buttons to move them both one square in the direction. If there is a wall or obstacle in the way, the affected character will not move, and if if even one of them falls into a hole, it's game over. Let's see if we can have those two out. Ah, but wait. Ah, so I can do like this. Good to know. Ah, I didn't see the hole there. Surprisingly simple. This is an interesting one. Yeah, okay, that probably was a different kind of solution, but my idea was get them both to the corner and then just walk with both of them to the exit. So much simpler. You did it, they made it to the exit at the same time. It's, go it's great that they're both safe and sound, there's always sort of spoiled in 12 steps, so see if you can turn this route. I have no idea how many steps that was, and I honestly don't care. I knew you could do it, a wonderful show, Mr. Eddie. It was nothing really, it was all about coordinating your movement, you see, even when you're far apart. There's an angel inside this tube. Haha, <laughs> I thought as much. The third angel. There are, all the, uh, there are an awful lot of these speaking tubes here, aren't there? You mean these trumpet things? They look like muzzles, muzzle traps to me. <coughs> <coughs> they're called speaking tubes, show. They've, they're for carrying our voice to other parts of the ship, you see. I wonder where the, these ones end up. Let's ask, let's, uh, let's ask Captain Poon. Excuse me, excuse me, Captain. Could you tell us where these speaking tubes are connected to, please? They all they go all over the ship. I need to be able to give orders to crew members whenever they, wherever they are. You see, this goes to my cabin. This one to the deck. Then there is an engine room. The hold pretty much anywhere you can think of. Gosh, how wonderfully convenient! Sorry, mosquito. Go, go away. So you need never leave the bridge. Something like that. Speaking tubes have a long history in ships. Another wonderful performance, Miss Layton. You are magnificent to discover the third angel. And now that there's just one more to find in the Grand Lounge, I believe. Correct. You and the other guests are about to begin the hunt for the angel and discover the missing statue. Alright then, no time to lose. 
Let's go back to the Grand Lodge and recover the ultimate angle. Because here's the thing, I can somewhat understand what the heck is going on, assuming that it is what it is, that it is. That's strange. Something different here, when I came down this corridor before, sure. Yes, the din from the engine is rather more notable, notable than it was before, wouldn't you say? What? Sorry, what? Sorry, I was just being, being a wag. But now the mention, I think you're right. And Nix is back. That is because your ears are ears need cleaning out show. When did you last have a bath? The last time you gave me one. Talking to your mother again, cat? Actually, Ernest was just commenting that the engine noise seems greater than it was before. Hmm, since when? Well, it's much quieter in the Grand Lounge when the, when the party started. I suppose I first noticed not long after we started looking at the God, for the goddess statue. Probably because we're heading back to back in at full throttle, don't you think? Captain Pullman told us that the ship's engine had more to give, if you remember. Yes, but it won't. But it don't appear to be moving much faster than we were before. Mm -hmm. That's true, actually. Sound doesn't seem a lot faster than when you look when you look out out the window, anyway. I wonder what's causing the extra noise. Then. Yeah, who knows? Anyway, aren't we supposed to be heading back to the lounge? Yes, for the final angel. Come along then, everyone. And that is another clue. I think I know where it is. Hey, Nix. Lay down, please. Thank you. But such a nice little clue. You didn't have to have a puzzle. You just, you know, use the common sense from the character. Here we are then, the Grand Lounge, where the last angel is hiding. All that stands between me and that binding zoo. You can do it, miss. Haha. <laughs> the side of the lounge without a golden stat golden goddess stand is my house. When you left for the wharf, it was such a magnificent sight to behold, you know? I'm quite sure we'll find your statue, Mr. Fuhu. Don't you worry. Not if you don't actually look for it, Inspector. Mm, yes, well, where do you look then, Perfetti? Please don't feel this hard to Mr. Fool. There is still hope. Yes, yes. And now we have to come now I have come this far. We must complete the exciting little treasure hunt. That's the spirit. So if you can find the final angel somewhere in this home, I will reward you with a beating zip for the golden goddess. Now that is what you are prize at the moment. Oh dear, that's made him feel glum again. Why don't we throw ourselves into the treasure hunt and try to jolly him up a bit, please? Yeah, that's fair. So, again, I probably haven't read the comments, if there are any comments. So a small channel. But, uh, have you guys actually noticed what was actually missing? Yeah, there was this golden ball that was on top here. Oh, what's happened to the stack of dishes? It looks different to, see, to the first one. Really? It doesn't look like too many people have been digging in. Yep, she's right. What? Oh, there. Picky. So, this is a crane we think the Cooper may have used to remove the goddess statue. Yes, yeah, possible. <coughs> Sorry. Yes, yeah, possible. The question is how did he or she know how to operate the crane? This one is like a bit more tricky to find. This grind loud on the first over on the stash, does it? Yeah. Let's talk to him, maybe he has a clue. I wasn't convinced about resuming the game after the statue was sold, but I am pleased to see my guests enjoying themselves. Now let's play the game to his to conclusion. Yeah, no, I just need to find something weird here.
Oh, that's probably the statue again, right? Yeah, I'm gonna cut until I find it, because this one's a bit more difficult to find. Nix, I'm happy that you want to cuddle, but now is not the time. Oh, it's right here. Jesus Christ, I'm a moron. Mm -hmm. I'll start this tire. Just a second. Let me put Nix on my lap. Thank God, baby. Thank you. Okay, no. I have to serve this tier tower of platters in a minute, in minute detail, I think. Let's start with this delicious looking chicken. Oh, it smells gorgeous. Pause off the grub. Disc. You do realize that too many calories lose your brain, don't you? Oh, look, there's a puzzle here in this dish. For it has to solve this. What are the odds? 106 Stone Idol. Okay, I get it. It's supposed to be Stone Idol. Stone idol. I get it. There's a stone with some symbols carved into it, into it that seem to have some kind of significance. The part of it, of it is missing that needs to be put back, but the pieces of stone are all jumbled up and it's not clear which one it is. Look at the symbol on the other side of the statue to figure out the missing one. Okay, I want to say it's A, right? Because it's the only one that I can make sense to me anyway. I've seen how to solve this now. Or not? What's the matter with me today? Apparently not. Let's try again. To say, it's like kind of refreshing not have to be worried about getting it perfect every single time now. And yes, I could just brute force it, but let's try using the logic. If it's not A, if it's not A, what could it be? A few inches later. Hmm. You know, when I tilt it to the side, it reminds me a bit of. Of a smile. So maybe D? Or could it be C? Tell you what, I'll try D first. If it's not right, I'll go for C. This is an interesting one. And now oh! it's done. I got it right. Good. Usually when it's 50-50, I have a 90% chance of choosing the wrong one. Yes, I'm getting the 10% on this this time. Oh, uh, the sun the represents the eye looking in different directions. You know, I can I can I can see that now. Oh so that's why it's called the idol. Ooh. Okay, I admit that was like a very clever one. Oh, you got it right. You continue to surprise me, Catrillo. That's strange. I'm not seeing the angel figuring anywhere. You find the other three angels as soon as you solve the puzzles. Ha ha ha! It's because you see the, the moon in the sky every night, my friend. It doesn't mean you will see, see it in this night. No, this puzzle I've just solved is only a hint about the location of the angel that is concealed in this room. Ah, it's a hint, is it? Well, the answer to the puzzle was that you had to look up, wasn't it? Ah, so you have to look up to find the angel, perhaps. Is it on the ceiling? Not quite that far up, I think, so. I suspect him in the top of the tower of dishes. Of course, that's a hint. Let's investi investigate the top, top straight away, then. Hmm, that's disappointing. There doesn't seem to be any angel on the top of the tower of dishes here. Really? But it must be there. Actually, I remember there was a little round decoration on top of it as well, but it seems to be missing now too. Yep, for those of you who said it was a golden ball, you were right. Yay! Yes, I remember the decoration as well, actually. The decoration is gone. No, 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 this is a disaster! Gosh, was it a very important decoration, Mr. Fuhu? Yes, well, no. But you see, I concealed the final ender figure inside the, the, the decoration on which to speak. 
Oh no, so you mean the end of figurine is lost too? Yes, now not only is my precious golden god is missing, but a final angel as well. What are you going to do, Miss Layton? There seems to be going from bad to worse. Let's keep calm, Miss. The end of Saturn has gone missing, it's just two location, that's all. Better not tell anyone to move it. Someone has gone against my wishes. Let me explain, Mr. Fuller. The final figurine war was originally inside the decoration on, to on the top tier of the Tower of Plates. The question we face is, where is it now? In fact, it was inside of all of us, even as we speak. Is it? Really, Miss Layton? Where? Where is it? Do tell us. Relax, Pinstripes. She can't wait to tell us anyway. Haha. <laughs> Let me put on out of your misery. The final angel is... The jelly next to the tower. Well, I can like say it. Really, it's right there, actually. Is that a normal multicolored jelly? Surely not. Indeed it is, Ernest. If you examine the jelly, jelly I'm, I have little doubt that you will find the, angel, the final angel figurine. Yeah, can I can see it now. Well, Lawrence, have you found it? Um, uh, oh, yes, I've got it. The little round decoration. And the Andrew figure is inside it. However, how are you it up in here? There, miss. Some might have moved around with permission. That you were saying? You're saying this lately? Actually, no. The truth is, is I think the decoration just fell from the top of the tower into the jelly. It fell? But how would that happen? Quite simple, Mr. Fuhu, because your boat is not level. In fact, the stern appears to be considerably lower than the boat, almost as if you're caught on something. The ship is not level? Are you sure this? I, I can't say that I've noticed. It's not immediately obvious, especially when you've been walking on the ship as we have, but I'm quite sure the round decoration did, in fact, pull off the top tier of the Tower of Dishes. But the same, t the same tannic is a very little model. Everything is a perfect working order, and we are not cruising at an excessive speed. What possible reason could there be for the vessel to be pitched in such a way? I'm sure there's a simple explanation, Mr. Fuhu. Don't worry. Now that I found all four figurines, though, I think the same to um, solve the case, maybe. Okay, so I was pretty much wrong and all that. The decoration, but yeah. Now let's solve this case, shall we? I must say, this is a very clever hiding place. No one would ever think to look at the goddess statue there. Wait, eh? Are you saying you know who did it, cat? Of course, Inspector. This mystery is history. I know who did it, and I know how they did it. Well, come on then, spill the beams. It's beans. Who was it? And where is the devil with a statue, eh? I'll explain everything as soon as everyone is gathered. Ernest, could you please? Yes, miss. At once, miss. Oh, wait a minute, though. There's something I need to discuss first. What are you planning now? Ah, uh, you'll know soon enough. I'll reveal all, all once everything is settled. For whom the goddess smiles? Well, she would love each and every one of us equally, of course. Yet there is someone among us who would have her all for himself. And that someone is... No, wait. I think everyone's more interested in where the goddess is rather than who is responsible for her disappearance. So... I'd say it's pretty much both in this case, but okay. Ah, uh, pop, 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 pop. Hold it! Everyone knows it's bad guy first, then how he did it. Yes, I should bow to my audience's wishes and explain the whereabouts of the statue first. Hello, dog giving advice here. So where is the statue, you ask? The truth is, it was stolen by someone, but I have deduced where that someone has hidden it. Stolen? How could that be? Yeah, we're talking about a four-ton statue here. How could anyone make off with that? 
Even if it was possible to move it, there's no way to get it off the boat. But there is. There's one way you could get the statue off this boat and onto dry land. How exactly? I'll tell you. Even as we speak, the goddess of the Thames is... Oh, it's pronounced Thames. I thought it was Thames. Okay. Under the water. What do you want about? I'm talking about the only possible way such a statue could be moved from this boat to the shore. The statue is under the water, being dragged along by the boat as we speak. And the thief is planning to recover the statue once the party is over and we've docked at the wharf. But who would do such a thing? There's only one person who could have done this. And that is you. Captain Midas Pullman. Uh, what a disgruntled voice act reaction to you. And all of the crew have been helping you. Wait, I... Who? It didn't matter the, the text, but okay. You've taken a hallowed image, bound it, and mercilessly thrust it into the, let's face it, grim waters of the Thames estuary. It's nothing short of sacrilege. You are all guilty of anchor abuse. What? Anchor abuse? On the Tempteric? Unthinkable! That's not a thing, Cat. Read it back in now. Oh, now the voice acting is gone. Odd. Well, how to explain how Captain Pullman removed the statue from the lounge into the sea, Catrina? We've already established that there was a number of conditions that had to be, be met in order to use the crane for that purpose. Yes, he needed to help all the crew to make it happen. What are you saying, Cat? Well, the captain told us that there was a key required to operate the crane. Obviously, he had, it, he had it himself. But he had already given the key to the ship's navigator, Abel Seaman. When the incident took place, Seaman told us he was on the bridge. That's right. And from the bridge, he asked ship engineer Deacon Swaber to turn on the power to the crane in the engine room. Well done, man. You're in the engine room doing the treasure hunt at a time. I never heard you use the speaking to. No, you didn't. Because you, you weren't supposed to, eh? Just think, just think back, Inspector. When he first entered the engine room, Captain Pullman gave a long and detailed account of the ship's engine, didn't he? Yes, he was very passionate about the latest technology the ship employs. So that was a deliberate distraction, you think? I do. And while we were busy listening, Mr. Seaman gave the instructions to Mr. Sober to fix the power switch. If it hadn't happened that way, there wouldn't have been enough time for Mr. Seaman to do the deed. As soon as the crane's power was switched on, he hoisted the statue out of the lounge and lowered the side of the ship. Once he'd finished, he let Mr. Swaber. He, once he's finished, he let Mr. Swaber not use the speaking tube again, and Mr. Swaber returned the power switch to the off position. And of course, it was just those three involved. Every member of the crew helped him carry this amazing heist. So they're all good with them, a lot of them. It was an impressive piece of teamwork, I'll give him that. Yes, facilitated by the many speaking tubes running all over the ship, so everyone involved could relay important messages to each other. The covers of the speaking tube between the engine room and the bridge are usually left open, so they are in constant communication. And then don't forget that this crew has been together for a long time, they know each other inside out. Now, obviously, I explain why my profile hasn't produced results yet. Nobody could have predicted the entire crew was involved. I just wish sure they hadn't put their amazing teamwork skills such in their first youth. What a waste. It's criminal. Well, anyway, we should be arriving in the wharf before two. Already I head to the yard and give us a walk on the community. Oops. Oh, Captain it's all over. The case is closed. 
The ship's captain tried to steal the statue, and the old crew were in on it. But they didn't get away with it. It's under the vessel, boys. Fetch it out. Sir! Under the vessel! <laughs> You greedy, good for nothing, Spalpeen. You're not fit to call yourself a man of the sea. Quick, I. Ooh. I'm not so sure. I believe it was the captain's undying love of the sea that drove him to such lengths. Love? Yeah, by the way, what the heck are you doing here? Mr. Pullman is aboard this brand new ship today because he is employed as its captain. But once upon a time, he himself owned one of the most famous luxury vessels around, the SS Midas Touch. Isn't that right? How did you...? Sadly, your business met with hard times in the economic recession, and you were forced to sell your ship and lay off all of her crew. You put all your younger years into that ship, and now you want her back, don't you? Yes, yes, you're right. You've certainly done your homework, I'll give you that. Unbelievable. I met my late wife aboard that ship. She means everything to me. I poured my soul into her. This crew who are conspiring with you, they're the crew from your old ship, correct? Yes. And I knew doing a terrible thing like this would mean I wasn't worthy of her. But I just had to get her back, by fair means or foul. Midas, you realize that I have acquired the Midas Touch through one of my brokers. What? Really? You own her, Mr. Fullhold? I do. But I don't understand. I didn't think you were interested in older vessels. No, those crusty old ships make no money. But the Midas Touch is different. She is in a class of her own. If you want a pinnacle of luxury, there is no greater boat on the water. I have decided to run two cruise services from now on. These more affordable ones and a Pullman service. Really? I... I don't know what to say. Once you have made amends for this little... Uh, transgression, I was thinking of making you captain of the Midas Touch. She will be fully refurbished, of course. What do you say? Do you mean that? Yes. No one knows how to get the best from her, like you. There's nothing I'd rather do. Well, Captain Pullman, that's all worked out rather swimmingly, hasn't it? Thanks to you, Miss Layton. The business plan you produced for the Midas Touch was very impressive. You old dog cat! <laughs> you arranged all this! Brilliant, Miss Layton. You solved the mystery and put everything right at the same time. Oh, well, it's what I do. <laughs> the golden goddess was raised from the riverbed, muddied but unharmed. And once again, her radiant beauty was put on display for everyone to admire. To admire. She smiled. My, she smiles on, on, on us all.